welcome back everybody. Here we are right outside the solution area. A lot of activity, people coming and going. Must be some really cool things happening over there. Um, we've got some, some great guests with us here uh, to talk to us. Um, some of our uh, largest and, and uh, um, best customers uh, have joined, well, best we'll find out, right? Um, <laughs> have, uh, have come to join us today uh, and um, why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Uh, my name is Rich Sheridan. I'm an IT manager for a large uh, uh, home furnishings retailer uh, located in Salt Lake City, Utah. And Mike? My name is Mike Bowman. I'm the director of server and storage architecture for an oil and gas pipeline company located in Houston, Texas. Excellent. Mike? Hi, I'm Mike Hale. I'm senior director of enterprise architecture for a large hospital healthcare company based out of Boston, Massachusetts. Okay, and Chad? And I'm Chad Shear, uh, storage architecture for a large airplane manufacturer. Cool, awesome. So, um, you guys have been, some of you have been coming to the to, uh, uh, Dell EMC World um, many times. Some of you, not so much, right? How many years have you been here for? A very long time. Very long I time. Can't, I can't remember how many I've been to. <laughs> you have all the t-shirts. Yeah, I have all the t-shirts. You have all the t-shirts, okay. What are you, Mike? Uh, this is actually my first one. First one? First one. What do you think? Uh, it's it's quite the party. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. Yes, yes. How about you, Mike? Uh, this is my second. Second. Okay, oh, yeah. cool. Eight great years. Eight great years. Eight great awesome, years. awesome. So one of the questions I have is, you know, when, when you have these types of user conferences, right, what are some of the things that you hope to get out of this? I mean, why do you come? I, I particularly enjoy rubbing elbows with the EMC folks. Okay. The, they... Uh, they're good to teach and help understand their products, and you get to know them in their sessions. Right. It's well worth it. Yeah. Excellent. Well worth it. Mike? For me, it's all about the contacts. So being able to talk to engineers, software developers, hardware engineers, uh, product marketing, get roadmaps, and, and talk through our use cases, what's important to us, how we use the product, and, and having that two-way dialogue. Right, right, and I think that's the important thing is the two-way dialogue of Absolutely. that. Absolutely, yeah. um, You know, there, there are things that, you know, users like about the technology and there are things that, you know, could be areas that we need to work on, right? Oh. And it's good being able to talk to the actual developers that actually build the products to be able to provide that direct connection and that feedback. Absolutely, sometimes we do things with product that the engineers never thought about. Uh, other times we do things that uh, they didn't intend us to do. Correct, so. yep, yep, yep. So good to have those guardrails, Absolutely, right? Absolutely, yeah. Excellent. How about you, Mike? Uh, well, I love hearing about the new technology announcements. That's, that, that personally is my favorite uh, part of it. I love the way we can, you know, it starts the wheels turning. You know, you start to develop and th think about the next solutions that you want to deploy for your organization. Uh, I also really like the birds of a feather session because, uh, you know, you get to talk to other people, your, your peers and colleagues, maybe sure. from different parts of the country or the world, and hear kind of the commonality of, uh, and, uh, of successes and things that the people are trying to do, and you're all kind of facing the same problem. So it's a Excellent. great forum for that. Chad? I look forward to the one-on-one -on -one sessions. We have product management. Uh, being a very large environment, we have some unique requirements, and be able to provide that to them, they can help us solve our problems. Right. Cool. Cool. And so today was a big day, right? We had a lot of announcements that we rolled out um, earlier with David Goulden getting out there. And, and pretty much every core part of the portfolio um, was refreshed or enhanced in some way. Yeah. Um, I think one of the biggest themes that we're seeing is, is the transition uh, to modernizing infrastructure with flash technology. And I know each one of you are, are adopters or some even early adopters of, of moving quickly to flash as kind of the, the storage media of choice, not just for performance requirements, but for basically you know, any sort of primary storage. So we'll start with you, Chad. Sure. What are some of the things that you're using flash for in your environment? We pretty much use it for everything now. For everything. Um, all of our VMAXs go out all flash. Um, we use them for databases, for pretty much everything out there. Um, it's been great for us. What are some of the benefits you've seen? Oh, simplicity. Uh, all the way from acquisition, we no longer have to figure out ratios of hard disk drives. It's just all flash. To uh, efficiencies in the data center, now we were able to take uh, two petabytes was 28 floor tiles. We're now down to four floor tiles for two petabytes. 28 to four. 28 to four. Mass consolidation. Sure. So it's very, our data center people love us. <laughs> and they're uh, our own racks. So we no longer have to provide space for proprietary racks. So that's been great. Excellent. Excellent. How about you, Mike? Uh, we, use, we use a lot of extreme IO in our environment, and, and we love it. You know, it takes... Uh, to echo what Chad said, you know, you don't have to worry about spindle counts. It's really just about capacity, uh, and uh, and you, you know that it's going to be able to deliver the, the performance that uh, that you're looking for. 
Um, we've had a tremendous amount of success with some of our key, our core databases, where we're seeing, you know, we've got to hold multiple copies for, for you know, one as a primary and one as replicas, and we're seeing, you know, five to one uh, uh, deduplication ratios. Um, we've got a, a revenue uh, application that was I/O starved when it was on its previous platform, and now, uh, you know, it essentially ate as much as it could when we got onto the extreme I/O and extreme I/O. We didn't pay, push it up, you know, we didn't push it beyond its limits, which has been great. Very good, very good. And Rich, how about you? We're, the reason why we buy VMAX is for the, the six nines, the availability. The performance is a bonus. We've never really had issues with our performance on our arrays, but uh, the performance is a, it's a huge bonus, but the, the reliability is why we're there. Right, but it's good to have the performance. It's good to have the performance. <laughs> I'm not complaining about the performance. And how about you, Mike? So we, we have been an early adopter of all flash, uh, both on a previous vendor's product and now with VMAX and going all flash. Uh, for us, it's simplification from an operational standpoint. So as Chad was mentioning, Mike, you know, there's no more, what's my ratio of spinning disk versus flash. Um, we don't have to worry about weird tiering mechanisms or, or jobs running in the background. And uh, you know, one of the problems that we had seen in the past is the, the tiering mechanisms are only as good as the data that they have. Right. And if the I.O. profile suddenly changes for a given app or database, you can get yourself in a little bit of a performance bind. And going on flash, it really makes the storage architect's job easy. Right. Uh, it, the performance is always there. there. There's never any stalling or anything like that. So. Right, and it also helps you standardize a lot of your infrastructure. So I, I, we had the opportunity to come and visit you, it was, geez, a couple months ago now, and uh, I'll never forget the tour that you took me on of the, uh, of the data center and just how well laid out everything was, and it was just organized, clean, the cleanest data center I've ever seen in my life. It was extremely impressive. And I know we talked about that was one of the key sort of drivers for moving to Flash is the fact that I just want one thing to manage. I want to know how it works. I want to know how to operate it. And I don't want to have to worry about, you know, having to go in and tune things and having, you know, specialized parts of the infrastructure for different types of workloads. I just want everything to be simple, simple, simple. Absolutely, yeah. So in our environment, we very much do multi-home. So you look at one particular array, there'll We'll have Exchange, we'll have SQL, uh, hundreds of VMs, uh, Oracle databases, you name it, all running from the same array. You know, very dynamic workloads, very different workload profiles. No problems whatsoever. Right. So it definitely simplifies day-to-day -day operations. And I know you were, you were great enough to uh, actually help participate in uh, some of the breakout sessions. So you're actually presenting. That is So correct. not just the, uh, the, the internal engineers, but the actual consumers of the technology. Yes. Yeah, I've been hearing great things about um, sort of the lessons that you've learned and some of the things that you've done around um, helping to accelerate the migrations into the, uh, into the new platforms um, that you're bringing in. Um, how's it feel to be presenting at, uh, at, at your first Dell EMC world? <laughs> no pressure, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been great. Uh, I co-presented today uh, with Stephen Ives uh, yep. on uh, Hypermax and what's new, and then I gave a presentation about our, kind of our journey, you know, or some of the pain points that we were experiencing and what led us to look at VMAX All Flash. And, and since then, in the last nine months, we've gone from a POC to now we have two on the floor, one on the way, and with the 950 being announced, hopefully, right. uh, that will be on its way soon as well. Yep. yep. Um, so we're, we're betting big on it, and it's, it's working out well for us. Excellent, excellent. And then, and then Rich, you, you also are, are presenting at a, at a session yeah. this year. Yeah, we, uh, I presented this morning with Rob Tasker uh, about compression. Okay, and what are you seeing for, with compression in your environment? Uh, we're, um, array wide, wide, we're getting uh, 1.5, uh, 1 to, to 1.5 uh, um, compression, and it's great. It, we don't see the compression uh, hurting any of the performance. It's, and we've tested it. I mean, we've, we've killed the database. We've shut off the array. We've done everything we can to make sure that we don't get corruption in the database. Compression's where it's at. So your recommendation is turn it on. Turn it on. Excellent. And not only that, but you get the benefits of the uh, extended life, uh, the extended capacity. Right. With the, uh, with the flash. Yeah, with right. the flash. Yeah, and well, you and think... It, it makes it cheaper. Yes, yes, and then when you add in the, uh, the, 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 the data efficiencies with, with the, the data reduction technologies, compression uh, and the VMAX, deduplication and, and extreme I.O., so, I mean, those are all, um, you know, really important things. Um, so, you know, day one, here we are, right? We've got a couple more days left. 
What are you guys, anything in particular you guys are looking forward to, to seeing over the next couple of days? So in, in my case, uh, we're starting a Isilon migration project. Okay. So we're moving off of our uh, legacy NetApp filers and all of our SIFs and NFS environments will be moving over. And there are several sessions about uh, performance and you know what's new in, in Isilon and 1FS. So very interested in that. Uh, and obviously anything related to the VMAX All Flash, you know, we want to be plugged in there so we know kind of what's coming and, and some of the big changes. Excellent. Mike? Um, well, this morning it was, uh, it was quite a mouthful, so I'm excited to learn a lot more about the, about the big announcements this morning. I'll probably try to catch uh, Rich and Mike's uh, sessions as well. <laughs> cool. <laughs> and Chad, how are you? Sure. For us, it'll be more sessions with product managers, providing our requirements into them, seeing if there's enhancements they can uh, put into the products. So we'll be doing that for the rest, rest of the week. Excellent. Rich? I'm, I'm looking to learn everything, data replication, data, uh, data backups, that kind of thing. So, so you're getting into the kind of the protection piece of things? Yeah. Excellent. So yeah, well, this is definitely the right place to, uh, to be able to do that. Have you guys, so I know we pulled you right here before the Solutions Pavilion. Um, so, you know, is that the next stop for you guys? Go check out and see what's happening in there? Yes, it will be. Sure. Excellent. Well, next step. Because we can smell the food, we can see people walking by, <laughs> so it looks like there's a lot of fun things happening uh, inside there. So yeah, definitely, uh, def definitely uh, a good way to, uh, to to end the show. So when are you? When's your session? Your sessions? Wednesday. Wednesday. And Mike, your next session so tomorrow. My next one is tomorrow morning. Okay, uh, tomorrow first morning. thing at eight 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 thirty. So you gotta get up early for that I one. I gotta get up early for that. Oh boy. And then there'll be a, um, a theater booth presentation on Wednesday, I believe. Okay. Uh, around twelve or one. Oh yeah. All right. So out there, right in the, yeah, uh, in the in solution the area. area. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. So and maybe we'll get you back next year to talk about the uh, the migration to the Isilon um, um, storage that you're bringing in. So we'll, yeah, we'll see if we can get you guys. Maybe we can get you guys participating in a couple of breakouts as well. I know we talked a little well. bit about that, but I think that's great when we can have you know the actual consumers of the of the products actually get up there with the engineers that develop the products and kind of talk about you know here's what we hoped it did and here's what it actually did so that that's kind of a good dynamic so all right guys well thank you very much for for joining us here today um, it's been a great discussion uh, we're going to send it out to uh, Brittany uh, back in the uh, the solution area